Hey guys. Oh, let me see if this is better. Okay. Um, so I'm in the kitchen. Um, the one thing I do not like about the health bet group, um, through the app is that I can't go live. So I can't share with you guys what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that you'll see this notification that you'll pop on here. Um, so I kind of wanted to just share with you what I'm doing in the kitchen right now. Um, I just want to give a little non, well, actually it is a scale of victory, but it's a non-scale with a scale of victory. So, um, I did lose three pounds last week. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I started doing intermittent fasting. So, um, I think that it's always a good thing to challenge your body, to do something that you've never done to see, um, what your body will do. What, Hey Cassie, um, what will happen? So I committed to intermittent fasting. Um, this might be a little TMI, but the girls in this group will know exactly what I'm talking about. But I went on vacation, a little mini girls weekend to Joyce Meyer, and I started my period on Thursday. So you know how that is. Like, you just want to eat everything, you know? And I'm on this intermittent fasting. I'm eating in an eight-hour window. You know, the, the PM service didn't start till 7. By the time we got back to the room, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. The last meal I ate was at 6. I'm hungry, I'm kind of wanting chocolate, you know, so I did not cheat at all on my intermittent fasting. Like I did not go over my time, which was really impressive for me being away from home. I packed all my food. I did not eat not out, not one time while we were there, except on the way home yesterday, I had Chipotle with a salad, um, no rice, just a little bit of beans, no um, sour cream, a little bit of cheese, so I didn't have any healthy fats yet for the day, and it really upset my stomach. Um, but, so those are my two victories for the week. Um, so, I normally don't do meal prep until Monday, but I kinda just wanted to get it done out of the way, and I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. So, let me see if I can, all right. So I made this stir fry thing like a week ago and I have like loved it. I fell in love with it. So I made that and I literally just bought a bag. I bought a bag of, this is just the broccoli, but it's two for five right now at Publix. So I bought the one that had the broccoli and snow peas and then like the, I don't know what those are, like cabbage or the, it's like slaw, I guess. Um, and I added a whole can of, baby corn and I literally just put um, some olive oil and then all of this organic um, garlic ginger um, a, like a tablespoon of this which is pure sesame this is um, soy sauce reduced sodium and then I added some red pepper flakes so it gives it a lot of flavor um, so I'm gonna pair that up with um, brown rice I have some leftover brown rice I have some leftover brown rice that I made for Joyce Meyer. Um, I boil. Now I want to share with you what I do because I hated boiling eggs. Like seriously hated boiling eggs because I could never peel them right. So I finally like Googled a YouTube video and I'm like, all right, let me just try this. So the key to eggs is boil the water first, then put the eggs in there, cover it, Wait till it boils, the water boils again, and reduce the heat to medium and cook covered for 13 minutes, right? Set your timer for 13 minutes. You take the pot and you put it in the sink just like that. And you just run cold water through it until all the hot water runs, runs out and the water's like, I mean, you can stick your hand in there. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like cool. So once you do that, you empty out the water to where it's just covering the eggs, you put ice in there, let it sit for five minutes, and they will peel beautifully every single time. So you will thank me for that, I promise. <laughs> um, so then I'm also making some turkey meatballs. Um, I kind of just threw this together. Um, there's one egg, uh, probably about a teaspoon and a half of garlic a teaspoon and a half of onion powder, um, a, two handfuls of spinach, one egg. I didn't have any breadcrumbs, so I just ground it up some oats. So we'll see how that works. Um, about one-fourth cup of almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, 
um, a little bit of pepper, salt, um, Italian seasoning, oregano, and... I think I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese because I have some and it's probably gonna go bad. So I'll let you know how that recipe turns out and if it's good, I'm gonna post it on my blog. Um, so I have those meatballs um, and then um, what else do I have? I have Shakeology, um, plain Greek yogurt, hummus, peppers, um, oh, grilled vegetables. So I bought one huge zucchini, one um, uh, squash, and I'm just going to cut those really long and thick and grill them on the grill. Um, and then I bought some chicken breasts that I'm going to marinate um, in a Greek seasoning too. I'll share that. So honestly, when I meal prep, I just worry about the carbs and the veggies and the meat because that's the bulk of what we're going to be eating, you know? So my healthy fats and my snacks, they're already pre-made, you know, you just grab them, fruit, whatever. Um, so that's how I, um, you know, I'm home, so I don't really have to like pack my food, but at one point I did. So this is what I would do. I would just have this all on hand and then every day I would just take my little container, I would portion out what I needed, and then that's how I would just go about my week. So this will probably last me about five days. And I spent $50 at the grocery store. I mean, that's nothing. Nothing. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little inspiration. I'll be posting a lot more on my blog. I just started it last week. I'm super excited about it. I'll be sharing a lot of my recipes, videos, all that fun stuff. So... Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration and I am going to announce a little bit later the top point winner of the first week. So just make sure that you are posting your pictures along with your Shakeology and workout photos in the app. They have to have a picture in order for it to count. So you can go back and edit them this week if you don't have a picture with it, but make sure you have a picture, okay? Um, I'm here if you need me. Reach out if you have any concerns or questions coming into the second week. You guys are awesome. You're kicking serious ass. Excuse my French. But be proud of yourselves. Be proud that you've shown up and you've committed to yourself, whether you had a good week, whether you had you know, a couple days where you kind of fell off. Like It's okay. Just keep moving, keep moving. And set yourself up for success by meal prepping this week, okay? All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.